assessing Korean art and Chinese art, there are, there are a number of benchmarks that you can refer to. They give you examples where you can say, well, this type of clay or the, the modeling of the figure or uh, any number of different points can be considered that give you an indication of where something was made. With the screen, we just started out with a preconceived idea, really. Once it opened up and we saw it in front of us, it just shouted. And, it, and it's not that we weren't familiar with the Korean screens that we're copying, using as prototypes Chinese examples from that period. We were. But it's interesting how the human mind works. Once that was kind of embedded in my mind and that of my colleagues, that is the path that we took. And it just turned out to be incorrect. Now, once we saw the Korean participation and by the end of the sale, all of which happened fairly quickly, it was over uh, an hour maybe from start to finish, we realized, how did we fail to see this that was right before our eyes? Why didn't we notice this? And of course, the explanation is, it's just, it's human nature. <laughs>